Hi, this time in DaVinci Resolve 17, we will create an engraved effect using Fusion tools and apply it to text titles and image logos. First we will make a stone texture background. Drag a paper object from the generators folder in effects library to the timeline. In the inspector, I set the texture seeth to minus 1.086, reduce the brightness to minus 0.2, and increase the gain to 1.5, so that it looks like a polished stone surface. You can adjust these parameters to get a look you like. Next, we add a text clip to the track above. Enter stone as the title text in the inspector. Change the font, size and tracking to fit the title on the screen to our liking. I chose the font Russo 1 for this demo. Select both clips, right click and we see that new fusion clip is disabled. Select the text clip, right click and select new compound clip. I left the name to its default, click create. Now select both clips. This time in the context menu, we have the new fusion clip option enabled. Click on it, and the two stacked clips are now converted to a fusion clip. Go to the fusion page, we see two media in nodes are merged and connected to the media out node. The media in one is merged as the background, and the media in two is the front text title. Rearrange the nodes so that media in two is on the top, which makes sense to me. Since we will be carving the text into the background, we don't need the actual text directly in the output. So we disconnect the media in 2 from the merge node. Select media in 1 node, click the mat control in the toolbar to insert it between the media in 1 and merge node. Drag the output of media in 2 node to the mat controls gray garbage input. In the viewer we see that transparent text holes are cut through the background image. Drag a brightness contrast node from the toolbar to the node editor. Branch out the media in one's output and connect to the brightness node. Connect the brightness contrast node to the merge node. Right click the merge node and choose swap inputs so that the brightness node becomes the background. With the brightness node selected, go to the inspector. Set the brightness to minus 0.09 in the viewer, we see the text appears in dark grey. So here we basically merge together two layers of the same stone texture image, with holes punched on the top one through the text mask. So that we can see the darker bottom image through the holes. Select the matte control node, press shift space to open the tool selection window, find and add a drop shadow node. In the inspector, Change the drop angle to 135. Drop distance to around 0.006. Shadow strength to 1. And blur to 0.25. The text now looks like it is being engraved into the stone, with the light coming from top right. Make sure the drop shadow node is still selected, and press shift space to open the tool selection, then find and insert a shadow node. We will use it to add highlight lines, to make the carving more realistic. Go to the inspector, change the shadow color to white. Set shadow offset X to 0.501, offset Y to 0.502. The highlight lines are a bit too bright for my taste, so I slightly reduce its brightness. Also we soften the lines a little bit so they look more natural. If you feel the carving is not deep enough, you can either adjust the drop distance of the drop shadow node, or make a copy of the drop shadow node, and paste an instance in the editor. While holding the shift key, drag the instance over the line between drop shadow and shadow nodes, and release the button when the line is highlighted. This adds the new drop shadow instance to the process, and in the viewer, the engraving effect is visually deeper. In the inspector, we can toggle the instance on and off to compare the differences. Now we have created an engraved text title on a stone surface. We will save it as a macro template so that we can easily apply the effect to clips in the edit page. Unlike the effects we have created in the past, this one is a multi-layer effect. 
It requires two median layers, one background texture, and one front carving mask. The nodes selected for the macro will need to include both media in one and media in two nodes. Select all the nodes except the media out, right-click and choose Create Macro. Name the macro as Essential Engraved Effect and save the macro as a group setting as usual into Fusion. Templates. Edit. Effects folder. Close the macro editor and go back to the edit page. To test the new effect we just created, we will use the same background image. Right-click the Fusion clip and choose Open in Timeline. A navigation path appears at the bottom below the Timeline panel. Right-click the paper clip, make a copy. Click the engraved effect in the path and go back to the Timeline. Move Playhead to the end, press Ctrl V to add the background paper to the Timeline. From the Media Pool, drag the logo to the track above the paper track. Resize the logo so that it fits in the middle of the image. Select both clips and convert it to a fusion clip. Go to the effects library, find the newly created engraved effect, drag it to the new fusion clip. Right away, we see the logo engraved into the background. We can also animate the logo if we want. If we need to carve both logo and text at the same time, we can add text and logo to the timeline on top of each other, convert them to a compound clip, and then select both background and compound clip, create a new fusion clip. Applying the engraved effect, we now see both logo and text are engraved as expected. I have exported two parameters together with this effect, so that we can make some basic adjustments right inside the edit page. Like adjusting the depth of the engraving effect. Or the color of highlight lines. Of course if we want to do more detailed adjustments, we can click on this fusion icon and open the effect in the fusion page. Double-click the effect group, select individual nodes, and we can make changes to all the parameters as needed. Like simply disabling the shadow instance can reduce the depth. Or change highlight colors. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.